And joining us live is Dr. Godwin Udo, uh, President, National Association of Resident Doctors. Uh, thanks for joining us, uh, Dr. Udo. Good afternoon. Uh, the, I am Dr. Godwin Udo, yeah. the President of Association of Resident Doctors, University of Calabar Teaching Hospital, a branch of the Nigerian Association of Resident okay. Doctors. All right, thanks for joining us. I, I want us to start with understanding the bone of contention. Uh, between the federal government and the staff of the National Association of Resident Doctors. Uh, negotiations have resumed, uh, of course, yesterday, and of course, will continue today. Um, but yesterday's negotiations didn't come to any you know, consensus. What currently is the bone of contention? Well, the bone of contention is the fact that the federal government went into agreement with the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors on certain issues issues concerning the medical residency training fund, issues of the hazard allowance, um, issues of uh, migration of our colleagues who are on the GiveMe's platform to the IPPIS platform, uh, issues concerning house officers, as well as um, many other issues that um, we listed about 13 issues. And um, government, after um, uh, after about 113 days, government is yet to do anything about it, despite the fact that we had timelines um, about 15 days, you know, to do all this. None of this has been done. And that which seems to have been done is not um, fully, we can't fully say that this has been done. For instance, the bench fee, which is the money that people who move from, doctors who move from their centers, to other centers for training have to pay. We feel the doctors go there and they work, so they should not go and pay any more money. Yes, there was a circular from the Federal Minister of Health abolishing the bench fees, but some uh, chief medical directors have found new names for getting these monies from our colleagues. All right. And we say this is no, this is a no, no situation. We don't want that. And even the house officers issues that um, have been, seems to have been settled. Some house officers are yet to receive their salaries. All right. All right. And, um, Dr. Odo, uh, I believe some of these things, you know, would be part of the discussions that they will have with the federal government and, of course, with the House of Representatives. But I want you to react to the Nas uh, National Association of Resident Doctors in uh, River State. Uh, the R River State chapter has seemingly pulled out of the strike. They say that the River State government has made promises and, you know, it doesn't seem like they would be, you know, part of the strike anymore. They called it off. Uh, what's your reaction to that? I'm sure they have their reasons for calling on the strike. I really don't have um, the power to, you know, comment on this. But I believe that the NEC will meet and will view the situation vis-a-vis -vis what um, they've been promised and what they have received. And the uh, NEC will take a decision on that. It's not a decision that a single individual can take. It's the collective decision. Okay, and um, finally, how long do you believe this strike would go on if the uh, meeting between the federal government and the NARD ends in a stalemate again? Um, what's the next move? Does the strike continue indefinitely until the government fulfills its promises? How long the strike will last will actually depend on the federal government. The president of the Nigerian Institution of Resident Doctors yesterday said on camera, that um, there are certain things, certain issues that they have presented be before the government. And if the government were to meet it, the strike would be called up. The NEC will meet and will call up the strike. And um, for if it uh, goes into a statement, we'll wait. Because we think um, it's not fair on Nigerians to keep going on strike and calling up the strike. So it's, it's best we sit and wait and um, see how the government, you know, uh, please, uh, what the government does with the situation. All right. Dr. Godwin Udo, thank you so much. Um, we we'll look forward, of course, to another conversation with you as uh, things progress. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.